Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. This is going to be your next 48 hours. So let's see what's going on, what's happening, what you can expect the next 48 hours. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to pull some energy and then we're going to get into the tarot. So the next 48 hours, we have this could be the one. You already met your romantic partner you seek. Okay. So the one that you're with could be the one, my beautiful Capricorn. Okay, let's get some more energy. What do we have for Capricorn? The next 48 hours. Okay, chaos and conflict. I feel like you're going through an emotional roller coaster lately, Capricorn. You're Emotions have been up and down and sideways and back. Okay, let's get some energy on your money situation. Okay, we have time to breathe out. This mating moon. Okay. I feel like there may be some things going on with you romantically, financially. Um, I feel like you're going through a lot of hurdles, a lot of roadblocks, a lot of things may be happening at the moment, and you're feeling really discouraged. You're feeling like things just aren't going right lately, right? My beautiful Capricorn. shuffle right <clears throat> okay let's get into the tarot yeah devil energy coming out this is your energy Capricorn and we also have the magician yeah um, I feel like you're having a hard time creating what it is that you want um, you may be trying to manifest something into your life, trying to manifest something better. But I feel like there's this negative energy getting in the way. There's something blocking you, something emotionally affecting you, I feel. Yeah, the hermit. You may have been in hermit mode for a while, maybe spending time alone. Not really wanting to be around other people, not being around family, just in your own little world, right? So let's see what's going on, my lovely Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn in the next 48 hours? We messages. You're the hermit again. Yeah, you're spending a lot of time alone. There's something that you're really soul searching about you know this is also um energy of virgo so you may be dealing with a virgo we also have the hierophants so i feel like you're spending time alone and there could be issues in the relationship issues with your partner um For some of you, I feel like you're spending time alone because there's a separation. And if it's not a physical separation, there's like a mental separation here, right? Like you're living two separate lives, but you're still together, right? What other messages do we have for Capricorn? The King of Swords. Okay. More energy for Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn, you have a lot to say. You have a lot you want to get off of your chest. We have the Four of Wands here. Um, what is your overall energy? 
Yeah, you have a lot that you want to get off of your chest. You have a lot that you want to say, but for some reason, you're keeping silence. You're sticking to yourself at the moment. Uh, but I feel like that's not going to happen for too long with this Eight of Wands energy. And this gives some more energy for Capricorn. The Two of Swords in reverse. There's some kind of decision, some kind of hard decision that you can't make. And there's something that you don't want to end. You're holding yourself back from a situation. Okay? Um, yeah. This energy over here is what concerns me, my lovely Capricorn, because it feels like you're not making a decision that needs to be made because there's something that you don't want to let go of that you don't want to change, you know? So you're like, you have yourself in this mental prison. These mental walls are like consuming you because there's so much that you want to say. There's so much that you want to get out. And I feel like... You know, the only way that's going to get out is by just this explosive energy here, right? I feel like that's why we have this chaos and conflict. Yeah, that's the reason why we have that chaos and conflict. See, we have the page of swords in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is karmic release, you know? Um, the Four of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups. I feel like, you know, if this is a relationship, I feel like it's kind of topsy-turvy at the moment. But there's a lot of love. There's a lot of care there. It could be that you've been together for a very long time. But now you really don't know where the situation is going. Right? Um, with... The Page of Swords in reverse. This is manipulation. You know, either someone's manipulating you, my lovely Capricorn, or you're manipulating a situation. Okay? Um, because I feel like, you know, you may be putting your logic over your heart. You know, because it's your comfort zone. I mean, it could be your comfort zone. It could be... If you've been in a relationship for a very long time, it could be that you're just comfortable in that relationship, but you see that it has ran its course, it's done its job, you know, you have grown out of this relationship, okay? Um, but I feel like you're not willing to make a choice because you're happy in the comfort that you're in. Okay, it's time to step out of your comfort zone and really see life. You know, really start living life. Because I don't feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're in hermit mode. You know, you may be keeping to yourself, keeping your feelings to yourself, keeping your thoughts to yourself. You know, just going within and not letting anything out. Right? If this is a job situation, I feel like you're very unhappy where you're at. You know, it's time to focus on yourself, on your healing, on on where you want to be in life. Because something is making you very unhappy. And we have this eight of, eight of swords energy. You're really blocking yourself. You're keeping yourself locked. In this mental prison. Right? That's what I feel like you're doing. And it's all because you don't want to make this decision. Because you're afraid of what changes your decisions may bring about. You know, you don't want something to change. You're in your comfort zone. You know, if you're comfortable, why change anything? Right? If you're, if you feel like. You're happy where you're at, but you're not really, are you? Are you really happy? You know, and 
just by stepping out of your comfort zone and getting out into the world, you know, you're going to start to feel better. You're going to start to see things in a different light, right? You're going to go from this hermit to the hangman being awakened, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and clarify for my beautiful Capricorn. Give me a message. Spirit, the next 48 hours. Why is the hermit here? Give me a message for Capricorn. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, if this is a relationship, my beautiful Capricorn, I feel like you saw this person at one point as perfect. You saw this person at one point as staying forever, right? As the one, as your soulmate. But I feel like there's there's something changing. For some reason, and, and it's unknown to anybody but the universe, people change, people grow, people evolve, right? And I think that's exactly what this is. This is like an evolution of a relationship. For the Hermit, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're trying to stay away from conflict. You're staying away from learning something new. You know, you feel like maybe you're too old to learn something new. You're too experienced. You know, you're just willing to ride it out. And just not take any action. Right? Um, but if you look at this card, the, the five of wands, they're in training, you know, there's some who are listening to what is being taught to them. And there's one who's leading, right? So in all actuality, someone is taking action, but it's action with expanding your knowledge, expanding your experience. That's the word that I want, expanding your experience, okay? Experiencing new things. And I feel like that's what you need to do, Capricorn, is to get out of that shell and experience something new. That's what I'm getting. Give me a message for the Hierophant. Where is the Hierophant here? The King of Wands. Yeah. Someone needs to take action. Okay. Give me a message for the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The Sun. You f you're pursuing happiness, Capricorn. That's all it is. You're pursuing happiness. When it comes to the King of Swords and the Sun... Look, the sun is like expansion, but the sun can also be an awakening, right? And I feel like your words, your thoughts are pushing you to this awakening, you know, wanting to feel more pleasure, get away from whatever pain that you're feeling, okay? Um by leading, you know, the King of Swords, he's all about truth. He's all about authority. He's all about, you know, using his words in the right way to express himself. Okay? And I feel like using your thoughts, your energy, your experience, your wisdom is going to bring about more happiness. 
it's going to be a, an awakening, okay? Give me a message for the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Page of Cups. Yeah, you're waiting for this offer, this apology, this something, you know? But you're, you're waiting for this from a person. Now, if you're not connected with a person, this may be someone coming in to offer you a opportunity, love, an apology for some arguments, right? The Page of Cups, this is also about, about believing, you know, about believing in the impossible, something that you don't expect, right? Some kind of happy surprise, you know, the, the, Page of Cups, this is also about sensitivity. You know, it, it could be a sensitive issue when it comes to family, unity, celebration. Okay? This may be a very sensitive issue. The Four of Wands, this can also mean marriage. Okay, so let's take a look. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Give me a message. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, you have so much to say, my beautiful Capricorn, but you're holding yourself back. You're holding your tongue. You know, you have the Eight of Swords here, the Eight of Swords here. There's a lot of energy of you blocking yourself, being locked in your mind, not being able to speak your mind because you feel like it's going to be taken the wrong way. Right? So you feel like it's easier to hold back. It's easier just to withdraw. It's easier to go within yourself. Okay? So let's take a look. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Judgment card. Yeah, you feel like there's some kind of action that you need to take that's going to renew your faith. That's going to take you out of your comfort zone and, you know, just make you feel alive again. Right. This is some kind of taking some sort of action that's going to um, be like a rebirth, a judgment call, you know, a life change. Why is the two of swords here? The seven of pentacles. Hmm. That's the eight of pentacles. And the death card in reverse. Why is the death card in reverse? The six of pentacles in reverse. You're not getting what you need out of a certain situation. Look at this. We have the two of swords in reverse again down here on the eight of swords. Yet you're not getting what you need in a situation, Capricorn. You want more. But you feel like you're getting the short end of the stick. You, you want so much. Okay? Your standards are high. You see yourself in certain situations. You have certain expectations. You're willing to work hard in a situation. You're not willing to give up. Right? So you feel like by not making this choice, by not making this decision, you're not giving up. But by not making a decision, is that really doing anything? Okay. Um, with the death card in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse, you know, you feel like anytime change happens, there's some kind of strings attached. You know, you feel like someone's being stingy with their decisions. You know, the six of pentacles in reverse, this is stingy energy. Someone doesn't want to give as much as they're receiving. They want to take more. They want to take what you've got. You know, they're taking advantage of you. You know, in, in some aspects, you can also see the Six of Pentacles in reverse as you being used. Okay? And the Death card in reverse, 
you're you have a fear to change something you just you're not ready to change a, a situation and then we have the the two of swords in reverse again you you don't want to make a decision you just you're like choosing a situation just because it's like the lesser of two evils you know it's all about staying in your comfort zone and sometimes the hardest things in life we get comfortable in we get comfortable in the hardest situations because it may be too hard to get out of them right it's too much work there's too much that needs to be done and so sometimes we get used to things because it's just easier not to move. Because I feel like with this Ace of Wands in reverse, you just have no energy. You just have no energy. There's a lack of passion. You're bored. You just don't want to take any action. You know, you don't want to make any plans. You're just in this healing mode. You're just constantly healing waiting for the situation to get better waiting for something to happen okay because there's frustration maybe delays okay my beautiful capricorn i see how much you are struggling okay let's get an outcome for capricorn let's get an outcome what messages do we have for capricorn please Okay, the Magician, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, <clears throat> we have the Six of Cups in Reverse, the Four of Cups in Reverse, the Four of Wands in Reverse, and the Hermit Upright. Yeah, I, I don't feel like you're going to change this situation anytime soon. I don't feel like you're going to make any any moves um, because you have to have the willpower spirit is letting you know to have the willpower to break past these fears and just take action willpower release your fears and take action right open yourself up to communication to just doing something okay just making the first move you make one step and the universe will push you to the next one, right? With the Six of Cups in reverse, I feel like, you know, you're looking for some kind of independence. You may be looking to leave your home, leave your family. You know, you may be moving. And the, the Four of Cups... You know, you're choosing to get out of your comfort zone and you're choosing happiness, whether you know it or not. You're choosing happiness, but you want acceptance. Okay? The Four of Wands in reverse. Wow. <clears throat> you don't feel supported. You know, there's chaos. There's conflict in your home. I feel like that's the reason why... You may be leaving home. You know, there may be divorce. There may be separation. There may be, you know, you leaving your parents. You know, you leaving school. You know, but I feel like, you know, you're seeking so much wisdom here. You're seeking wisdom. You're soul searching. When it comes to the hermit, the hermit is being led by his lessons and his experience because he has the star in his lantern that's leading him that's leading him on his path so he's actually being led by the his healing he's being led by the star right so that's really beautiful energy to you know move forward move onward and move past the lessons and the experiences that you've learned 
You know, there's an awareness there in that solitude. Okay, there is a beauty in that healing. Okay, but still we have the Page of Swords. Still we have the Page of Swords saying that there's some sort of manipulation. Something is all talk and no action, right? There's a lack of communication here. And the King of Pentacles in reverse, there's a lack of stability. You know, someone's not being solid. Someone may be being greedy. You know, they want it all for themselves. Temperance in reverse. You know, you're you're waiting on something, but you your your patience is wearing thin. Okay? There's something going to the extreme. Whatever meaning you're trying to find, it's like going to the extreme it's like not working out you know and you're protecting yourself you know you may be protecting your finances protecting your money protecting your energy you know but you're in this protection mode look how he's holding on to those pinnacles you know he's holding on to those pinnacles for dear life because he feels like something is going to be taken away from him so here we come back to willpower, battling your fears, and just taking action. Okay? Having the willpower to defeat the doubt, shame, you know, and just moving forward, communicating. Okay, so, okay, my lovely, beautiful Capricorn, let's go ahead and get you some angel cards. What do we have for Capricorn? <clears throat> okay, we have humanity and benevolence. I cannot say that. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. Okay? And we have Take Back Your Power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, yeah, take back your power, my beautiful Capricorn. Take back your power. Start to live your life because I feel like, you know, being in hermit mode, that only lasts for a while, you know, but you're ready for something new. You're ready for something different. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What do we have for Capricorn? Okay, oh, wow. I haven't never drew this card before, actually. We've got zero, zero, zero guidance. You have full support of the divine. The guidance you are seeking is here. And your life is moving in the right direction. This is the start of a new beginning. Where one cycle ends, a new one begins. Okay, so your affirmation. I trust in the magic of new beginnings. I feel the support and guidance that is all around me. Okay, can you see that? Beautiful energy. Okay, that is what I have for you, my beautiful Capricorn. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. Um... Also, you can take a look at your collective reading if you're interested in love. And until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you. Love and light.